Hi everyone, welcome to the new ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial on our channel. In this video, I would like to show you how you can build an automated email sequence in ClickFunnels 2.0. They are also called automations, workflows, depending on the autoresponder that you are using, you may know those terms. In ClickFunnels 2.0, this is called workflow. And to be precise, a workflow in ClickFunnels 2.0 doesn't include just emails, but also different actions, conditions, as you will see in a moment. Let's dive into it. To create an automated email sequence in ClickFunnels 2.0, you will need to go to Marketing and then to Workflows. Click Add New Workflow. Give it a name and select the type, how many times you want this sequence to run for a contact. It can be multiple times or only one time. After that, click Create Workflow. As the first step, we need to select a trigger for our workflow. What is the action, what is the event that happens that starts our automated email sequence? If you use a lead magnet funnel, then the trigger can be the opt-in on the page, when the contact gives you their email address and in return you send them your lead magnet. Or alternatively, it can be a purchase if on the sales page contact enters their contact information while purchasing your product and after that you add them to your workflow. To add a trigger, click this button, add a trigger, select the event type. After that you need to select on which funnel and page this action is happening. Let's choose our new funnel and select the page let's say, opt-in page. Set the trigger to active and click Create Trigger. Click Close. The look of this workflow actually reminds the flow of the funnel if you have already tried the ClickFunnels 2.0 editor. And what we need to do, similar to the editor of the funnel, we need to click plus to add the new step. There are different things that we can do in our sequence besides sending an email. For example, we can choose the conditional split pass, we can split our workflow, we can add a split test, of course we can add delays, trigger another workflow, and pass, add conditional goal. We can also tag contacts, add some notes, notifications. And because ClickFunnels 2.0 allows you to build courses in the platform, you can also choose to enroll a contact into the course using the workflow or unenroll them from the course. On top of that, we have third-party integrations and webhooks. But the typical action that users would choose in the beginning of any workflow would be to either add a contact to a list or to tag a contact. ClickFunnels 2.0 doesn't have any lists, they only have tags, segments and also topics. That's why we will go with the tagging of the contact. So in the future we will be able to create segments based on this tag. For that click Tag Contact. Here you can choose an action Add or Remove Tags. We need Add Tags. And in this field you can either already choose from the tags that you have created before or just type a new tag and press enter. Click create step. Because we are creating an automated email sequence, it makes sense to add an email. Again, click the plus icon and choose send email. You can either choose from the templates that are already available in ClickFunnels or if you have already created a few templates on your own, you can go to My Templates and then choose that template. Let's go with the standard ClickFunnels template. In this window you should give your email a name, then select a subject of the email, pre-headline which is optional, and select from which email address you are going to send this email. After that, click Create. To edit the email, click on this icon with three dots and click Edit Email. Now we will be able to customize the template that we chose. The email editor in ClickFunnels 2.0 works pretty much the same way as the funnel editor. You can drag the elements that you need here, or you can delete the ones that you don't need anymore. You can just click on it and then delete. Each element, of course, has its settings. As always, you can format the text. All you need to do here is to replace the text that we got from the template with your own copy. Delete the elements that you don't need. For example, we don't need that image. I selected the image and then click on this icon. 
If you use the buttons, you shouldn't forget to update the URL, which the button will lead to. And if you're wondering why you don't see any unsubscribe link here, you can check out the video that you see in the top right corner and learn more about the unsubscribe link in ClickFunnels 2.0. After you're satisfied with the look and the content of your email, click Save. After that, we can go back to our automated sequence in ClickFunnels 2.0. After sending the first email, you probably want to add some delay, so you don't bump your contacts with the emails. For that, click Plus and click Add a delay. Let's say we want to have a delay of one day. Choose here One and Days and click Create. After that, we can add the second email to the sequence. For that, click the plus button, select send email, again choose any template that you like, give your email a name, choose a subject and also from which address you are sending this email. Click create. Click this icon to start editing the email. You can also preview email here, as you can see. Change the body of the email and also add or delete the elements that you don't need and after that click Save. The email editor also has a preview mode. If you click on this icon, you can see how your email will look on desktop and also on mobile. And we're going back to our email sequence. After that we can add another delay. If it makes sense to you, you can also add some split path and split the sequence based on some conditions. For that, click plus, click conditional split path and choose the condition from the, what ClickFunnels 2.0 has to offer. You can change the name of this conditional step and after that set a filter. Let's see what filters we have available. A lot of filters that we have here are based on the actions that the contact takes on your funnels. And that's one of the advantages of ClickFunnels 2.0, because the platform includes a lot of things. It has funnels, it has your site, blog, and so on. And on top of that, it has a solution for the email marketing. ClickFunnels 2.0 collects all the data from your pages, funnels, and you can use this data to create conditions for your automated email sequences in ClickFunnels 2.0. For example, we can choose filter purchased product, and then we can select the product and click Submit. And for example, if a contact purchased our product, we can add another tag to this contact. And send an email. And if they didn't purchase our product, then we just send a different email. After you edit all the emails and actions, conditions and so on that you want to have in your automated email sequence in ClickFunnels 2.0, you need to activate this sequence by enabling this workflow and then you're good to go. I always recommend to first test the sequence yourself if we chose the opt-in on the funnel page as the workflow trigger. You would go to this funnel page, opt-in with your email address and see if you receive all the emails that we have in this sequence and then go to the contacts in ClickFunnels 2.0 and check if the contact is there and if the contact gets all the tags assigned. As you can see, creating the automated email sequence in ClickFunnels 2.0 is quite simple and this video will walk you through it step by step. If you want to learn more about ClickFunnels 2.0 and also master this platform much faster, check out our ClickFunnels 2.0 course in the description of this video. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. And see you in the future videos. Bye bye!